This is Billy Wing. We're here with Die Precision, and we're here to talk about the Die DFF20 Auto Cocker Three Way. We're going to hit the high points, show the features, and tell you basically why we think it's the best Auto Cocker Three Way on the market right now. Okay, so here in front of us, we've got my Free Flow Reflex Cocker. It's got pretty much every available die component for the cocker uh, in it. You know, LPR Three Way. Lazarus valve, beaver tail, feed neck, uh, hyper reg, ASA, pretty much everything uh, that we can squeeze on here from die I have. But we are going to focus on the die DFF 23 way here. And going to go through over the, all through over the features of what we feel makes it the best three way on the market. So I'm going to start with the shaft and it's, you know, this is a contemporary design. It's three O-ring design. It has the hex at the front for easy timing adjustment. Uh, the shaft and the collar, timing collar are one piece. So you get really, you know, helps with alignment. Uh, you'll notice that it's a nice thick, very thick shaft where we run six millimeter diameter O-rings. So we get massive flow but it also allows us to run a very thick shaft so we can run the shaft out of aluminum. Uh, so we have much less mass moving back and forth, but it's still very rigid and strong. So, you know, just every little bit we could squeeze out of this, we did. And a lot of it is stuff we've learned coming from modern spool valve guns, uh, working through solenoids and solenoid housings and manifolds and pilots. Uh, we've kind of gone back in time to, to look and see how we can improve this stuff and what we could do better with it. So, uh, touching on the thick shaft, some people might instinctually say, well, I, there's not much flow between the O-rings. Uh, because we've run a bigger diameter as a whole, we, can, we get a good analyst or flow path between the ID of the three-way body and the OD of the shaft so we get plenty of flow and that's actually been calculated so it's pretty much the same slightly more flow path than everywhere else in the, the low pressure pneumatic system uh, and that that helps for a couple of things it, it helps accelerate communication uh, if we were to take this area here and turn it down we then have a, a little pocket of a volume pocket that we'd have to fill pressurize and continue the airflow through. So this helps to uh, accelerate the, the flow path and maintain higher pressure faster so you get a quicker response. So uh, one of the other things we've done on this shaft is we've moved away from one millimeter diameter O-rings or cross section O-rings. And I'm gonna grab this pre-production part to help so you can see it a little better, but we run the same spools that we run in our M3s, our DSRs, all our modern, modern uh, solenoid systems, and they're only a 0.7 millimeter wide, so they're very thin. And that's important because the faster you can move an O-ring past one of the barbs or one of the ports, the faster it switches, the more the more binary the switch is. Uh, so one of the things we focused on was making sure we made this as fast of switching as possible, uh, a three-way. So we went with a very thin O-ring, uh, which again, this has proven to work extremely well on electronic solenoids that are seeing hundreds of, hundreds of thousands of cycles annually. Uh, so they're very reliable O-rings and, uh, you know, they. They're very thin, so they switch very quickly. Uh, as, as in comparison, uh, I've got another three-way shaft here from another company, and you can you should be able to see to an extent the this company runs one millimeter wide O-rings, where we're running 0.7 wide millimeter O-rings. So it is going to make a difference, and then you can see that we do run a bigger shaft diameter. There we go. So it allows us to have a thicker, stouter shaft, but still maintain really good flow, but we're actually at significantly less mass moving back and forth. So, so that is the hit points on the shaft itself. Now on the body, uh, again, 
the body going, taking what we've learned over the last 20 years, applying it to the three-way, uh, our internal surface finish and tolerances have really moved up quite a bit uh, because of the demand of electronic guns and how fast they cycle and how much they cycle. So we use the same tolerance specs on this. It's super smooth, runs very clean and even. Um, we run a, a smooth bore. There's no undercuts in there. There's no steps or, or bumps uh, for the, the O-rings to get hung up on. So, uh, you know, very reliable, very smooth. Nothing to hang up on there. Uh, one, of the, one of the things we did in the body, again, focused on getting the switching very fast and very, very immediate, but still maintaining good flow was uh, basically we increased the porting in the body of the three-way so we could still get use the larger barbs with the larger holes. And I'm going to use this. I got a Q-tip in here just to get the contrast. But if you look closely, you'll notice the holes in the middle three port ports where the hose barbs screw into, they're actually slotted. So they're not just a round hole. And what we why we did that was we were able to use just a one millimeter, one millimeter diameter drill and then slot it so that our, our path our cross path is only a millimeter wide, but we get much more airflow because it's a slot versus a hole. And what that allowed us to do is keep our switching travel very short. You get all the right parts here. So that the, the travel is very short to get the three-way to shift. But because we were able to use an oval or a slot versus a hole, we then were able to use the larger barbs with the 1.5 millimeter hole through them instead of the really small barbs with only a single millimeter hole. So really trying to maximize our flow rate and and minimize our our travel or throw of the three way. So um, I think that is probably the high points. Uh, again, it, it it it's a great three way. We we're really quite proud of it actually. Um, very, very smooth, very quick acting, very responsive, very short throw, and very, very fast switching of, of the air, the airflow. So uh, if you get a chance, please go to your local retailer, uh, go to diepaintball.com, check it out in more detail. Uh, by all means, please consider trying one out on your cocker, and yeah, hopefully... Hopefully you'll love it as much as we do. So thank you guys. Talk to you soon.